Uh, depending where you're at, I'm in central, the central zone, so it's the morning for me. How's everyone doing today? It's Darcy on the Daily Dump. Just, you know, this channel is full of my opinions, rantings, and every now and then you get a touch of me talking about the world but today just this morning the snowstorm is really killing my ambition i want it to be gone there's like i have plans that i want to do with landscaping making the house better getting my own garden going i love being out in nature i used to love the winter but then again that's when i was a kid that's when I was in my young teens, being a kid and not having to really worry about a lot of things. Praying for a snow day. I think people who grew up around snow and having snow days would relate to that. But also, getting older when you're an adult, that sh it sucks. It does. No disrespect to the UP. I love it. It's lovely up here. But it's how the people are being orchestrated to manage the weather specifically snow like i'm from city green bay where like that sh don't fly you know you can't just leave a mound of snow that high when cars no it's like it's no it don't work they don't lay salt and they just assume everyone's just going to get a truck. Not everyone's going to get a truck. Not everyone has all-wheel drive. Not everyone has that. Plus, add cherry on top of this scurry. This is who I'm working for. It's my father-in-law. And he's a bare minimally decent man. Great businessman, but a bare minimally decent man. Because the job I work for, it, it, seriously, there's no consideration. No consideration. It's either you have to bend over backwards to get just a little dose of appreciation. Just a little bit. And I'm not bending over to take it up there. I get that enough from life itself. I'm not going to have you be the manifested being that's going to give that to me on a daily. No. That. But also, how do we, how do we lay an example for the youth that's gonna go out and work in the world? You know, like how am I gonna tell my kids? It's just like, oh, just suck it up and take it. And that's just how it is. No, that. That's why I'm gonna do everything in my power now. Which I wish I did then, because I've come up with so many ideas with me and my fiance. Just talk about what could have. I was like, I was surrounded. She was surrounded by a businessman. What if she did what she did and got her degree and I was surrounded by a chef and a baker. What if I learned what they learned and then all I needed was just a little loan, have a little shop and then we conjoined and it's like, it would have been, I seen the millions racking up then building a garden and then, you know, it's just a whole thing. It's like, I don't have that drive to do that anymore because people are becoming more and more entitled and more and more irritating. I think we all can agree. I think we all can agree individually we have become irate ourselves when we subjugate ourselves to the energies around us and act irrational, act just like it's all me, me, me and be oblivious to everyone else's problems and not giving up what they're going through, you know? So, but showing up to work today, I was about to go in Sunny day, it's all happy. If you can see the blue sky behind me a little bit, look at that. Little clouds, but it's blue. Sunny day, you know. I was gonna be happy to go to work, and then he helped plow me out yesterday. <laughs> Pause, phrasing. But no, he helped plow the driveway out because it was just gonna take hours for me to at least get out to go get a shovel to 
and we don't have a snowblower that works, and I didn't test it out last year, and I should have. Oh, but it's a whole ordeal of me, my procrastination, and me just not, uh, I don't know, me slumming it down too much to the point of the fact that I don't even do anything at all in my life. Uh, yeah. But, uh, as you get to work today, and, uh, yeah, it's kind of annoying when, uh, you get there, and it's like, he plows everything else out, but he doesn't plow the parking spot where I usually park at, because I get out the way of people. I don't want to be in people's way. Everyone knows that I parked there, and there has been no complaints yet, and I get there, it's not plowed out. Not even though. Absolutely, just snow added to it. And I know I can park behind my managers, but the thing about my van is I didn't bother switching my tires because I didn't want to put more money into the vehicle. But now it's like I have to, and I regret not doing that in the first place. And it's like, Jesus I should have done that in the first place, but then it's like it's a whole ordeal now, and I'm potentially today, Monday, I'm in the works of getting hopefully a new job, a job that actually fits my criteria, a job that actually I will be happy with. That won't make me happy, but I will be happy with. I'm not happy with where I'm working and what I'm doing and who I'm working with. I don't like those people. The only people I like, I don't even work with them. They're in the other side of the shop. And the other guy, he comes in only on Wednesdays to Fridays. So, it's like, can you literally just plow me out a parking spot? Like, that's all I'm asking. And it's like, oh, just park behind Dan and Scott. It's like, all right, you, if I get in trouble, not in trouble, but if I get stuck, I'm blaming your ass. But for real, you seen me struggle the other day when you're plowing me out and I'm trying to back out so you can finish the plowing and whatnot. And you did nothing. Like, yeah, you tried to push me out and whatnot. But it's not only that. It's like you see my wheels spinning. You see my wheels turning. You see me not catching any grip. You see... I was trying to do every little and trick in the book that I could possibly do with the materials that I had at hand at the moment, and nothing was working. I don't, I give credit to my driving skills, but there's only so much you can do with your vehicle breaking down in a sense of reliancy and being reliable. Like, when you got bald tires, it's kind of hard to always shimmy left, right, left, right, and and wiggling it yourself out of trouble when it deals with snow, when it deals with the Midwest in weather. I'm done with this. I'm 30 years old. I thought I could handle this. Not handle this. I thought I could enjoyingly put up with this for the rest of my life because it's so beautiful in the spring, summer, and fall. When that winter hits, gotta go. I want to be gone for four months. I want to build somewhere else where it's like our home away from home. Actually, yeah, home is where the heart is. Uh, I guess my topic is we human beings need to be more considerate of other human beings. If I ran a... One day I will run a business. I want to hold that as my criteria, not like, oh, hang in there, or leadership, or teamwork makes a dream work. No, and it's more of, let's try to be considerate of each other. Let's try to understand each other. Let's have meetings every morning and every day before the shift closes, just 15 minutes out the day. I'll pay for it, obviously. But 15 minutes before time, it's like, let's give everyone a heads up of what, what the day is going to be like, what's it going to bring, and what we're all going to do. And then 15 minutes after day, it's like, did anyone have any problems, complications, and all that? It's like, I want to, it won't be a daily thing, but the 
daily meetings in the morning would be a thing to keep everyone updated. I worked at had that with Stanley Steamer. I'm like, I actually enjoyed that. We all had an idea of what we're going to do for the day. And it's like, you know what? If you want to talk about it, like, be like police. Police aren't the only one that should have a psychiatric treatment after a gun battle. Not battle. Oh, that's fucking stupid. Why did you say that? Calm down. Uh, well, that's the only other way I could put it. Well, I get it. But when they had to use their guns and they had to apprehend a suspect wounded from their hands by using a firearm. Everyone in the work in the workforce should have that. That little comfort zone to like release yourself. Pause, pause, pause. Phrasing. <laughs> no, but to release the mental anguish that is holding you down and binding you and chaining you up throughout the day to day, you know? We need release, especially the men. And now the women are trying to be like the men. Uh, that's a whole nother topic I'll get into once I'm more riled up about that topic to talk about. But there's just no appreciation anymore. Hopefully this job, if I do get the approval, I'm going to lay down the questions that I want to lay down. It's like, are you going to be afraid of me wanting to advance? Because I'm a hands-on learner. You show me, I do it. I'm I'm a see or do or monkey see monkey do type worker, you know. You gotta show me only one time and I get the gist of it, and then you keep showing me and I keep doing it and doing it becomes routine. And I don't want you guys to be afraid that I want to advance faster than most expected employees, you know. But let's hope not. Let's just hope not. But. We just gotta be more considerate, more appreciative, more loving to ourselves and to others. I will one day be a human accurate. Alright, take two. I will one day be a human activist. Pushing the rights for humans to do, not do better, but be better, treat each other better. That's how I could put my footprint on the world. But first, I gotta acquire the ability of undeniability within my own skill set. That it's undeniable how powerful I am with the skills that I have, how unquestionable my intelligence is with the skills that I've acquired and the wisdom that I've acquired, that I have acquired. Jesus, I can't speak today. But you know what I mean? And then, it is your it is your job, once you have that much power to not, inf not just influence the world, not just change the world, but lead by example. I haven't led by example because I don't have the two, first two keys. I graced myself throughout life by pure luck and and un and stupidly unknowing how effective the spiritual reality of essence actually plays in the day to day in in an individual and on a mass scale. Just watching a movie the other day, not a movie, the show, but Devil in Ohio. She was at um the psychiatric and did a Carl Jung quote saying how the unconscious conscious something about the unconscious conscious plays itself out, and once it's not integrated, we call it fate. Or we're led by faith. I know I'm paraphrasing, but it, it's true. The days you call luck are the days when the unconscious and conscious finally merge and integrate together. But when you say, oh, my life is shambles, it's I'm always ruled by fate, or it's never working out, that's because, boom, I keep clashing. I'm done clashing. Time to integrate. 
and procreate and create. Integrate, procreate, and create. Those are going to be my three keys. I don't know about you, but me. So, uh, see y'all later. Got to get back to work. Hopefully, I don't get stuck. But let's love each other. Let's understand each other. And let's... Let's put down our phones. I'm a vic- I am not a victim. I'm a per- a problem of that. I don't give my fiance the time of attention that she fully deserves, and I need to work on that myself. Stop distracting myself and laughing when nervously when I'm in trouble or being accused of something. But yeah, I just need to put down the technology, the medium of technology, and. Get back into the medium of what we truly are. Spiritual beings. Children of God. This has been Darcy on the Daily Dump. Peace. Have a lovely day.